Skating Finbity is an anime about skateboarding, because anime has run out of activities to make anime about. They do skateboard race battles down this one hill, the same hill every time. It's like a real big deal, sacred to the community. You win a race and you can legally change some girlfriend's name to Slut Dumpster. What? The story stars Reki, this little red-haired headband boy looks like a Beyblade, he's gotta be the main character. He goes up against Shadow, who's like a, a wrestler man who rides a skateboard. So naturally he throws dynamite at Reki and kills him, now we need a new main character. So they introduce Ranga, and Ranga, he's like Ganga, cause he just goes in man, he is so good cause he's a Canadian snowboarder boy. But he doesn't even know the basics of skateboarding, like doing an ollie or throwing dynamite. He duct tapes his feet to the board like a doofus. He doesn't even know how to go on the board. He's so dumb. But once he's going downhill, he's good though. The Ranga beats the shadow of the 24 year old old man shadow. <sighs> so Ranga beats up the 24 year young shadow, dodging the little dynamite attack, looking like a little bishi bishi snowflake boy. And Reki falls in love with him, and it's nice because they just start broing out. Reki starts teaching Ranga the basics, like how to go on the board. Reki handcrafts Ranga's skateboard, giving his board little office chair wheels. And it's just nice because they're just hanging out and bonding. Reki and Ranga have good chemistry because they're both dumb. But like different types of dumb, Reki's like this enthusiastic type of dumb, and Ranga's this stoic kind of dumb. And they're just there. They're just there enjoying skateboarding, and it's fun, and I like it a lot. But people don't like other people having fun, so Ranga's gotta fight Catboy Gamer. You see, Catboy Gamer just shows up. He starts calling Reki a slime. He beats him in a little trick contest, wants to make him his dog. What the fuck? Challenges Ranga and will be his little personal cat or something if he loses. What? Fuck. Ranga beats a child within an inch of his life using his office wheels to do stupid shit. Along the way we meet other characters like Cherry whose skateboard is an iPhone that can transform. Uh. There's Joe's like, well he's just big and strong and he works out while riding a skateboard or something. These two are best friends. Then we get introduced to the main villain of the series, Dio. With blue hair. And yes that is Dio. <laughs> Couldn't be anyone else. Blue haired Dio's a businessman by day, matador skateboard man by night who likes to dance on his board. Oh yeah, all the skateboard adults have like wrestler personas cause they can't be seen skateboarding I guess. Blue haired Dio has a weird flashback about getting literal slaps on the wrist from a group of aunts who are just sitting around all day doing nothing cause Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So blue haired Dio beats the shit out of Reki cause everyone gotta put Reki in his place apparently. He locks skateboards together and starts dancing with Reki as they're going on the side of a wall. He does a little move that's a like a charging bull. He turns and goes uphill at Reki, little, little bull horns on the board. Calls it the love hug, I don't know man. Reki dies again and blue haired Dio just starts monologuing. You're boring, you're not the main character, I wanna fight Ranga, where's Ranga? So Ranga and Blue Hair Dio fight, and Blue Hair Dio does a dance move against Ranga, but he's like, No, I only want to dance with Reki, and counters that move. Then the police show up and stop the race, and they're like, What is anyone saying in this show even? So Blue Hair Dio's gotta go businessman mode to deal with the police. Meanwhile, the boys are having a beach episode because anime. And it's once again really nice because we're just hanging out and enjoying skateboarding. These people have a very, very nice friendly chemistry about them. Even the characters that haven't known each other that long. They, they, they prank each other and do stupid shit but they still just have fun and it's nice and I like it. <laughs> Then magic shit goes to appear and cover the cast and shit. Yes, that happened. That's real. I watched it. But back to blue-haired Dio. He's in the middle of this political scandal thing that I didn't really pay attention to. I, I, I didn't care. I, I don't think he cared either. He was just like, man, all I want to do is skateboard with Ranga. I'm going to hold a tournament. So he holds a tournament, and everyone enters except Reki. Poor Reki, he gets upset because everyone's better than him. Man, I'm supposed to be the main character, but Ranga's been the main character the whole time. Reki starts downing himself because he's been practicing combos his whole life. He just can't play neutral, man. So he doesn't enter the tournament, and then he ends his friendship with Ranga. 
So the tournament starts, and I'm somewhere in the audience crying because Recky and Ronga aren't friends anymore. What the fuck? What do, you, what do you mean they're not friends anymore? They were perfect together. Recky sulks around the house, and he goes, and the anime supports Ranga by yelling. Ranga! Ranga beats Joe, who's doing his plank move. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Ranga breaks his board and wanders around like a lost puppy looking for Reki. Where's Reki? I want a skateboard with Reki. Then blue haired Dio. Ooh, blue haired Dio does the coolest move in the whole show against Terry. Literally gets off a skateboard going like 800 miles an hour down the same hill they always race on. He turns around and he just bitch slaps Terry in the face with his skateboard. He just picks it up and beats the devil out of him. And Terry dies and it was awesome. And everyone just kind of vaguely assumes, yeah, yeah, I guess that's legal. Shadow threw dynamite in episode one. Oh yeah, and someone kick flipped the dynamite back at Shadow, and he died too, I guess. And that's uh, that's kind of it, cause it's still premiering right now, and I kind of just binged it in a night. So I guess I guess Recky and Ranga just aren't friends ever again. But wait a minute though, episode ten premiered last night, and in it, Recky and Ranga still weren't friends, and Re Recky was avoiding Ranga's of being a fucking little dipshit bitch and Ranga's chasing after him and can't find him at all no matter how hard he looks and, and then Shadow dies for real this time the the slut dumpster girlfriend boyfriend shows up with a bat and just kills him he just does everyone's dying this episode Recky gets hit by a car going one mile an hour just taking it to a love hotel makes him think of Ranga and realize being a fucking idiot and he goes out and finds Ranga and he's and they just talk and they apologize and they're friends again and then and they're just skateboarding because <laughs> they're good friends and then Blair Dio is spying on them with his little drones and his stupid little base and he's just like oh i guess i'll have to kill Recky, but for real this time and now they're probably gonna have to both race him and fight him to the death or something that's gonna be the last two episodes because there are only two more episodes left i don't know what's going on anymore <laughs> just watch it